Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. Okay, so in terms of awareness for the week with the big ideas, we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles, it's a card of holding on. And so what you see in this illustration is the woman in the tree is really holding those pentacles close to her, keeping them near and dear to her chest, under her feet. Um, you know, she's in complete control of those coins. And so this is a mindset of where we're, we're holding on to what we have. We may need to protect ourselves financially or with respect to our resources but we are definitely creating this boundary here where really no one's going to get to those pentacles and you're not in any position right now to release them. And again, sometimes we have to hold on tightly. We need to take a pause. We need to maybe not make rash decisions or impulsive buys. And we have to just kind of hold the course. This may not be the most favorable time for you to uh, give. And so, again, once you feel more comfortable, then perhaps you'll be in a position where you can release and where you can let go and you can be more giving. Many people consider this the miser card. But honestly, sometimes in life you have to pull things back. You have to kind of stay the course. You have to kind of hold on to what you have. And that can help put you in a better position uh, in times to come. So with the Four of Pentacles here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles sits on his horse and he's taking stock. He's looking forward. The Knight of Pentacles represents the attributes of Pentacles, which is patience, hard work, responsibility, and using your common sense. There's not a lot of flash when we're thinking about the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone who is going to be very committed and very interested in working hard and doing what he needs to do in order to contribute to a, either a group dynamic at the office or do his part as part of the relationship. So for you, this is a taking care of business kind of card. Slow and steady wins the race. Whatever you're doing, keep at it. You have a, probably have a big picture and you are doing what you need to do each day in order to make progress as you move toward your goal or your desired outcome. So with pentacles, we, it's about our resources. We are thinking about our resources. We are thinking about how to make them grow and to build a more solid foundation. So you are taking a pragmatic approach this week. You're taking your time. You may not be making any rash decisions when it comes to your resources, your energy, your time spent, and property or money. So let's see what we have in terms of guidance. So with the Queen of Cups here, we get a lovely energy of unconditional love and support. You may have someone within your circle who's a Queen of Cups, a water sign, someone who is so sensitive and someone who is so tuned in that they understand where you're coming from. They understand how you're feeling and they know how to respond appropriately. And they know how to give just really what you need to help you find your center perhaps. So this Queen of Cups, love, um, compassion, empathy, intuitively there, really understanding intuitively what um, a situation may need, can take the temperature of a room, if this is at a social event. Someone who is very 
very aware of how to share emotions in a positive way. So again, whether this is energy that you're benefiting from, someone who is loving and sensitive and aware of what you're going through, or these are attributes that you're giving and being supportive and attentive and empathetic to someone else. With this cups energy, emotional water energy, we have the three of cups. So this week, there may be an opportunity for you to get together with your friends, to have some fun, to let your hair down, to raise a glass, you know, have an appetizer or two, and to talk, to share, to connect, to ask and to receive, to ask how someone's doing, and then in their, their turn is to listen to you, how you're doing. When we have time to spend with our friends, with families, with coworkers, it's energizing and it's simply, it's fun. So it brings some levity into your week. It brings some uh, good times. And you may need some good times after working hard and really being focused and devoted to uh, building more security or building your finances or trying to achieve a project. You may need some fun with friends, you know, you deserve it. So interesting in terms of possible outcomes, we have the page of swords and we have the two of cups. So the page of swords, we see the young woman here sitting with her sword raised and it looks like she's on the lookout. So she's taking note of what's out there. The black crows look like their crows are swirling and you know, nothing is ever easy in life. And sometimes we have challenges. Sometimes we have obstacles, we have problems and setbacks. And so here, when you have the thought that, Hmm, I'd better be prepared for whatever may come my way particularly if it relates to my resources. And I need to use my smarts. I need to be thinking about how I'm going to react, how I'm going to problem solve, how I'm going to figure out to deal with this adversity. So I always feel that the page of swords is the standing ready for whatever may happen and is thinking to herself or himself, Hmm, I'm going to have to use my, my, uh, my brain here to figure things out on how to proceed. So having this, uh, particularly with the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, it goes to appreciating that not all roads are smooth and that you have to be ready for what comes your way. You have to hold that sword. You have to be watching. You have to be aware. And then you're going to be focusing on really how you can cut to the quick of an issue, how you can use your smarts. There is a youthfulness to this page of swords, but you know, you learn as you do and each new experience creates more experience in, in moving forward. And then finally, we have the three of cups here and the two of cups. And the two of cups is the possibility, the opportunity to meet someone who's really just meant for you an equal. This is a representative of a, har a harmonious relationship of balance, of equality, eye to eye, toe to toe. And so when we are lucky enough to meet someone like this, we feel great. We feel happy. We feel fulfilled. We feel complete. And it's not a matter that you're missing something. It's just that the power together is such a strong union. It's such a strong combination of two people who bring a lot of dynamic love out into the world. So for those of you in a relationship, the two of cups could be, um, an outcome for you where you are paying attention to the relationship, where you are putting in time. You may be even having a fun date, you know, creating a romantic date for your spouse, um, for your partner, for others, you may be 
putting yourself in a situation where you meet people. And that's what you need to do. Spend time with friends. Be social. Get out there. Make connections. And you never know along the way when the spark happens, when the real depth of connection, you know, ignites. Just be ready for that to happen. And so here, when you, you know, when you give yourself time here to hold on to what you have as you begin to work hard, as you begin to loosen it up and to bring a little more love here, you have uh, the opening the channels, opening and to receive love. And then the universe is watching. The universe is watching and can sometimes, you know, put the right people right in your path. So for some of you, a possible soulmate connection, and if you are lucky enough to have your soulmate, then it's a, it's a case of um, honoring your soulmate and getting to know them even better, which is building greater intimacy. So Sagittarius, this is a nice, I think a nice set of cards here and things to think about for the week. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle card and we'll... Um, See what the weekly message is. Reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. A beautiful card. Reaching your destination, opening up your heart, allowing your light to shine. And then you, it's just amazing when you shine your light, what comes back to you what you're able to find, what you're able to attract. So through time with friends, through self-awareness and knowledge of how to cope and hard work, hard work and focus, um, you will reach your destination. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Let's get a little more information for love. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So again, in life, uh, giving, giving without expectation, and then also being able to receive, opening up the channels, opening up your heart, creating a space for those to give to you an exchange of energy, of positive energy, Sometimes people have a hard time uh, receiving or allowing themselves to, to receive kindness from others. And so it's a matter of self-love and a matter that it's okay when someone wants to give you something. It's okay. It's coming from their heart. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe.